Okay. And here's one we haven't really, I don't think we've discussed. Notice the underside of it. Um, this is, of course, it's a bracket fungi of some type, but it's the uh, flexible, flexible one. And uh, it has a uh, purple underside to it. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can try to get a good shot for you go, guys and goyles out there. Okay, if you can see underneath here, it's got a purple uh, hint to it. A little bit of, little fuzz, purple fuzzy. And uh, I believe the name of these are called Trichaptum biformes. And I just, I just call these uh, velvets. You know, purple fuzz. Purple fuzz. See right there. And uh, yeah, as you can tell, they are purple and fuzzy on the bottom side. They taste like a mushroom, of course. Um, it does have the uh, the usual mushroom taste. It's pretty flavorful. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I've eaten these occasionally. I just chew on them. I get bored. But I don't think we've discussed this one because I don't bump into it very often. Or we just call this the violet. So you violet or purple. But they're squishy. They have a texture to them, and they do have a... Uh, a mushroom taste so I'm sure they have a, a use they're probably edible I eat them all the time I don't eat a lot of them of course but uh, this is how you identify them these are pretty much right for the picking but like I said notice the uh, purple hair on the uh, underside there type of tree they grow on they're pretty much probably going to be like the uh, sterias and the uh, turkey tails they grow pretty much on all, all uh, same all the trees that I see the other ones growing on but turkey tail the Tremetes versicolor will grow on any tree and some of these won't grow on any tree some of them just are pretty particular but uh, yeah that's pretty much it the Trichaptum biformis I hope I'm saying that right as usual, but uh, we just call this the violet polypore. It's not technically, it's, it is a shelf or bracket fungus, but uh, it's not like a conch or anything. It's not, and like I said, it is kind of flexible, it smells like shroom. So I'm going to pick some of these, put them in my gleaning bag as I usually do, and uh, take them back to the house, probably use them in some kind of a stew or a dry them out crush them up use them as tea or something but these right here do have a pretty good flavor as far as uh as mushroom goes and they do have some texture to them so you could probably get away with using these you just steam them throw them in a salad or something you'll be all right